China has ordered a nationwide examination of dangerous chemicals and explosives following massive explosions this week in the northern city of Tianjin. This is new video of the blast that left 56 dead and more than 700 injured. The explosions, which occurred at a warehouse storing toxic chemicals Wednesday, were so strong that they registered on an earthquake scale and blew out windows and high rises miles away. But as cleanup continues, questions are mounting over how authorities in Tianjin allowed a plant storing chemicals to operate so closely to where people live. NBC News Asia correspondent Ian Williams has more on the cleanup and rescue efforts. At least one piece of good news today, a 19-year-old firefighter pulled out alive. Now, nobody expected that. At the same time, a team of biochemical specialists has arrived, while with officials admitting that they don't really know precisely what deadly toxins they're dealing with. The fire raged on this morning, thick black smoke billowing into the Tianjin sky. Hundreds of firefighters are battling the inferno. Today, pulling out alive one of their colleagues treated in a nearby hospital. More than 20 firefighters died in the blast and 13 are still missing. Officials say firefighters themselves may have triggered the blasts by hosing water on an initial fire in a warehouse containing the volatile chemical calcium carbide. That triggered the first blast, which moments later sparked the second, bigger explosion as other chemicals caught fire. Captured in this cell phone video, shot by American Dan Van Duren, he continued to film until it became too terrifying. Let's go! Let's go down! He told me he thought they were going to die. It was just monumental. I thought it was a nuclear bomb going off in my face. That's what it looked like. Officials have tried to reassure nervous residents that pollution levels are normal, while admitting they really don't know what toxins are in the air. They've told people to move out of apartment blocks near the blast site and into shelters. Local hospitals have been overwhelmed. The police have now cordoned off the blast area, which now resembles a post-apocalyptic wasteland. A local clock, frozen in time, marking the deadly moment this city will never forget. This is a city in shock after the explosion, but also one in fear as residents look at this smoke and wonder precisely what it is they're breathing. Ian Williams, NBC News, Tianjin. NBC's Ian Williams there. Thank you, Ian. Coming